Hi guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Rinu Karajaram and I am here today with a hair video. So yes guys, I will be doing a voiceover for this part of the video. I have first started off by brushing out my hair and as you can see I have already washed it and um, yeah it was almost um, towel dry so to make it a bit more dry I went ahead and I put the brush attachment on my Dyson uh, and I used that to dry off um, yeah, more of the roots of my hair this step is really key to speeding up the rest of the process of um, curling our hair as the Dyson um, yeah, basically dries your hair while you're curling it so I will be sectioning my hair into six sections eventually so two on the bottom two in the middle and I usually split uh, the top of my head the hair on the crown um, in like two or three sections in today's video I will be using the volumizing brush and this one really truly gives a lot of volume and balance to the hair so um, I have slowed down this part of the tutorial so I can show you properly and then I will speed up the rest. What I do, I dry my hair a little bit first by running the brush through my head like that. And you can see the hair is a lot more dry and it tames the frizz and gives the bottom a nice curl. But I want a proper curl. So I bring the brush all the way to the bottom of my hair and from there I will start curling it upwards. So I just twist and turn the brush up and I hold it there for like 10 to 15 seconds and I feel the hair a little bit um, just to make sure it's dry and of course you have to switch to the cool blast so it locks everything in place and that's exactly what I did so you twist the hair and it gives an awesome shiny curl it's so amazing guys what this tool can do from the moment that I've gotten my Dyson, I actually I have been experimenting with all the different attachments and barrels and yeah, they truly give a different look each and every time. So I would really recommend you to try it out yourself um, and in my previous tutorial I have used the more thick curling barrel so um, you can see the result of that in um, my other video. So now I'm sectioning off the second part and just going above my eyebrow or at the same level of my eyebrows and I partition my hair from there and I put all the rest of the hair on top, part it down the middle and I even split those into two sections again. If your hair is as thick as mine and you're beginning to use this tool I would recommend you to even divide the hair into three parts but if you have very thin hair then I would recommend you to try and do it all in one section it just depends on how your hair is and I'm repeating the step all over my head basically so twisting it back up giving it a cool blast after like 10-15 seconds and making sure that I curl my hair out of my face instead of inwards. Uh, you can see that the curls are very shiny and they look really pretty um, but sometimes I did not see that while filming. I have curled my hair up onto the pink part and there's of course no heat or air flowing on that so just make sure that you really have your hair on the barrel itself. Let's see, easy peasy lemon squeezy. It is so gorgeous. So follow along to see how I do the rest of my hair and definitely keep watching because I will show you some tips and tricks um, to get that volume on the crown of your head. So for the crown of my head, I chose to separate the hair into two parts. Um, I will be working on the front part first. 
as the front part really frames the face so the back part I will show you in a bit but I will section the, the front bangs basically in two or three sections I'm repeating what I've shown you before um, hold it for a little bit cold blast and you're done just make sure you do it away from the face Repeating the exact same on the opposite side. So, on to the most important part, and this is the back of the crown. So, what I do, I blow dry the section to make sure that the roots are also dry and um, then I will go ahead and give it a twist and turn inside so I just roll it back and I keep it there and I do this on top of my head um, so that you get maximum volume and I love this technique and the layers that I have in my hair and the balayage that I got done it shows so beautifully with curled hair like this now all the hair that I've curled I push it back and you're basically done I have done this part last as I have some layers in my hair when I curl that it really gives a nice bouncy effect so I'll put all my hair in the back for you to see So this is my daily hair routine uh, when I'm using my Dyson. I do want to say that I switched around from using the barrels, this one, uh, with the, the round brush attachment. The barrels are a little bit smaller, so they give you tighter curls. Uh, I must say what I love about this one the most is, I think you can see, that the volume that the curls have the round brush is the best for that and I love uh, I love using the round brush if I have a bit more time otherwise I'll quickly go through it with with a curl attachment and then maybe finish off uh, the end with the round brush attachment I will go through my hair you can really see the volume the different colors bring the curls really to life the Dyson Arab is a really big investment but I think that this gives um, a salon kind of blowout and you really get the, the feeling that you went to the to the hair salon uh, yeah to get your hair done so yeah you guys that was my video I hope you enjoyed watching let me also know if you want to see some specific videos for me and yeah thank you so much for watching and subscribing I uh, yeah I'm kind of picking things up again and I really want to do this as I enjoy it so, so, so much. From me, a really big heart to you and I'll see you in my next video. So till then, stay happy. Mm.